everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Elke and today it's springtime and I would like to make a little something with a bundle of tulips I got those months and uh, just don't want to put them into a, a vase just as they are and I would like to show you my special trick it's one of my favorite things to do it and it's basically using branches greenery grasses things like that that you can find on a walk or outside in your garden or you know just really basically when you go for a little walk and you find these little branches even lying around at the side of the road um, just basically building a little bit of a structure that will give you a, pl a place for the flowers to put what I'm talking about here is if you would take these flowers and you put them in a short little vase because we don't want a big one yeah you know you need something to stabilize them if you use a higher vase it's it's pretty simple it's just a basic bouquet but we want to make something real special so I take branches anything these are even some leftover branches and I just fill my vase kind of you know really fill it up so I build a little structure to put my flowers in later. So I just hold them on the top and stuff it full. And that could be even just um, gra uh, grasses. And I will I will do uh, the odd um, bouquet where I can show you. I will show you this this trick with the grasses. It's the same same concept, just like with the branches here fill it all up, stuff it full. I hold them at the top, it's easier to stuff them in here. So, then a little bit of greenery. This is just for my cedar hedge. Put those ones in. They give me stability in the vase, but also it makes it a little bit more alive because it is green. Um, I take quite a bit on the top, take that off. I'll just go here a little bit more. So I take it off because whatever um, is in the water, under the water, makes the water go bad faster. So I just take as much off as I can, give it a little cut put that in see just even that alone looks pretty cool so a few grasses they are from last year still kicking still doing well so and uh, I like them actually also short because they just fill my vase nicely with different texture a little bit of an ivy again gives me life looks cool Another bit of grasses, bundle them up, make them short. And it's here about breaking all the rules that you know. You know, grasses usually are high up, um, give you some kind of a, yeah, a, a movement, but they don't have to be up. They can also be very short and just use, be used for the, for the texture. Take a few little grasses just for the move, and then take the tulips. I love the sound of tulips. This is spring. This is fresh. So, same thing here. Taking off most of the leaves, and I'm just gonna stick them right down into the bouquet. These ones will look really nice because it's a filled variety and when it opens up it will really really look almost like a peony flower oops so you can get also quite um, interesting with these kind of branches if you don't like the look and how they fall like you know how they fall apart or some you can tie them up you can take a little bit of raffia or a little bit of uh, wire 
rope or something like that, just like this. Let's see here. She could, if you want, and just take that off so you see better what I'm doing. So you can either just tie them up, like here in the middle, yeah, and then you just give it a little bit of a tie up here. Would be like this. Actually, I kind of like that. So I'll leave it just a twist. This is raffia that has a wire inside and maybe just a little bit of a, a little bit of a feather or something in there. You can actually stick it right where you have the um, the raffia because then you don't see it. It's kind of a nice tucking away. Maybe just a little dot of glue. There you go. And put some in here. Done. That's it. Voila. So the idea of this kind of bouquets really is just um, filling the container with branches or with willow branches go very well because they are long and they're very bendy and you just make a little ball in your hand and you push them into your vase and you open them up and then you have a nice little structure to put your flowers in uh, in uh, in this natural kind of um, holder for it and um, grasses whole bunch of grasses you can even tie green grasses just on top of your vase but you know what there's many many different kinds of styles and i will do one at, at a time and we'll show you actually how to do that this one branches, some dried grasses, a little bit of greenery to make it a little bit more alive, and then just short little tulips in there. And that's it. Happy spring, everybody. Thanks for watching.